Hello friends, uh, my name is Gagan and welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we are going to discuss one use case of the agent force, which is like how we can create a case using agent force and how we can update the status of a open case or like any status of a case. So uh, I'll just quickly go to my, uh, uh, my, uh, this playground and let me just, uh, so here you can see I'm uh, in the service cloud or the Salesforce. This is a service cloud. Uh, if, if you can see this icon for this Einstein Copilot, if you, I click this Einstein Copilot, you can see this panel where you can basically chat with the agent AI. And uh, let me ask him, can you create one case for me? So I'm just giving you the demo, like how the configuration that I have built is working here. So it's asking me these details. So let me provide. So all of these things, you know, the information this agent AI is asking, I already conf configured in the lightning flow and I will discuss this step by step uh, later in this video. So I'm providing the information uh, like the account name is an fraud agent. Case information is bank fraud. I'm providing the phone number and the random 10 digits. Yeah, uh, these are the 10 digits and I'm providing the case status as a new, case subject as an the same like bank fraud and Gagan, let me just put that. And contact name as in Gagan Anand and email ID I'm providing Gagan gmail.com and here name already and let's put this in in this chat and we'll see how the conf configuration is working that i did to meet this requirement so 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 what is saying the case has been successfully created the case id is this so case has been already created let me check this id here So here you can see the case has been created. The name of the case is the same that we have provided here in the chat board. And you can see the status new and the related. And the related, you can see, um, not, not in the related, but here you can see there is a account name, which is linked, which is a fraud agent. And inside this account, there is a contact, which is linked. And there should be a phone number as well. This is the same phone number that we have provided here in the chat board. 7867 898890 is the same, and this is the email ID. So, this is how basically you can you can insert the record using the agent force. I mean, this is just a demo, I will just tell you how I have, a, I have basically uh, meet this requirement. And the second thing is uh, now, so let's say if I want to state update the status of this uh, case, so as of now, the status of this case is new. And I wanted to update the status. Can you update so I wanted to close this status. So I have also basically uh, beat this requirement using the lightning flow. I will discuss that. Mm. Case number, yes. Oh, showing that there's no case number. How could it be possible? Um, let me refresh. Um, can you update the status of a case? So now it's asking about the what new status you want to update. I wanted to update the status and closed. So see it's showing that the status has been successfully updated. Let me refresh. Now it should be closed. See this has been 
updated to close so how i have made this requirement so to meet this requirement i have created one agent topic and inside that agent topic i have added two agent actions so how we can check the agent topic existing agent topic or agent action so first of all you have to go to the setup and then you have to search agent uh, here you can see this is this is the agent and here you can see the these are the existing agent so i have added my topic here in the Einstein copilot so in the copilot i have to i should open this in the builder so to open into, into into the builder you have to click this button and here there are two topics so this is the one that i have created handle creation of the cases you can create multiple topic inside one agent so if you want to create a new topic you have to deactivate this and then you can create that if you don't know about that then go back to my youtube channel and the playlist there is a second video where i have explained how to create the agent action so this is the topic and inside this topic there are two actions i have added so one topic is that to handle the cases and inside that case topic i have added two actions and this action are nothing but the lightning flow so you can use apex class or you can use basically of some prompt template as well uh, but here I, this is since this is a simple requirement i use the lightning flow so now if i just click this and open into the new tab so here you can see this is the action and this action is nothing but a lightning flow this is the name of the lightning flow this is the reference flow and this is the active version inside here you can see the input and output variable so agent force basically works on input and output you have to give some input then based on the input the, the generative ai will work and whatever the configuration that you have done will invoke and it will basically uh, the logic will run and then basically provides the output so whenever you are configuring uh, the light uh, agent force action you have to create two type of variables one is the input and second is the output type so let me sh show you the flow so this is the lightning flow which is attached to this action and this lightning flow there are two type of actions sorry variable one is the input and another is the output type if i open this one you can see this is the input type this are this are all are the input types this so input means these are the inputs that we will receive from the user the customer who wants to create the user and <coughs> and uh, this output as well so after creation of the case you would like to see the record id the case id right so to see the case id we have to basically create um one second yeah we have to create one output variable so this output variable will come here when you basically uh, attach as soon as you will attach this flow it will show which will come it will show it here in the output panel and then you have to check this checkbox that show this output into the conversation and uh, you can see all of this input variable we are using to create the records so the customer will provide all of this inputs account name email contact name case name and this whole other information which will come from the customer and i have already provided the in instruction here key like if the customer is asking to create a new case then you have to ask the customer to provide these details account name case description case phone phone number case status case subject contact name email id and run this flow so i already mentioned that to run this flow when the customer is asking for to create a new case and ask this information first and pass this information to this lightning flow so this information will will basically pass from this action to the lightning flow and this lightning flow will create the record and then pass it into the output variable and this output variable is here and it will be showing uh, into the uh, conversation panel of the agent force ai this is there okay so this is how you can configure the action the second action is update the case status like i updated the status right update the status from new to close so for that as well we have added the instruction if the customer is asking to update the status then ask the case number and case status and case status should not be other than this because this is the pick list value so it should not be like any random status it should be among from this four values only and uh, these are the two input value which is case number and 
close status. So we are querying the case using the case number and we are updating whatever the status has been provided by the customer. After that, once the things has been completed, we are basically giving the final status, which is coming from the lightning form. Oh, let me click here. So this is a very simple uh, lightning flow where we are just getting the information about the case number and the status from the customer and we are just fetching the, the case using the case number and updating the status or whatever the status which uh, which was provided by the customer which the customer is providing and in the final status uh, um, yeah in the final status this is just the default value we are passing that the case has been successfully updated so this is it if you have any query or you're stucking somewhere you can reach out to me uh, through linkedin and please subscribe this channel uh, to support uh, uh, my motivation and basically so that i can keep making this uh, this kind of videos thank you